you have a sample on here. Is it an interpolation? Is it a sample? Mm. I mean, regardless, you're paying tribute yeah. and homage to Aaliyah. Yeah, one of my favorite artists of all times. I, I, I always say that the moment that I felt moved by music, it was that whole era, which is why I'm typically stuck in the late 90s to the early 2000s, obviously, with the motivation. Best, but the best era of music. The best era of music. I mean, and the feeling. It's the, it's the feeling of the record, which is why I feel like out of everything that I've ever created, like I'm like, no, this is the first. And it wasn't the obvious, you know? Like, for me, I was even in my head, I'm like, no, it's supposed to be this up-tempo thing, like super high energy motivation but like times 10 you know but this record literally it was a unicorn it landed in my lap like i had a conversation with stara who is like a big sister to me like i trust like her to no end um and she just we had a conversation and she's like bet i got you and we created it from the ground up how when does Aaliyah and one in a million come in is it after you have the lyrics? Are you crafting lyrics it's, to that? It's before. It's before. Yeah. So the production, like drum pattern, is there. Got it. So then you you build from you that. you build from that, and, and then everything else kind of just forms after it. Once the lyrics are there, it's produced out. Is there pressure or even more nerves? incorporating Aaliyah into this record at all? That's always something I think about because obviously, like, I'm compared all the time. <laughs> but I felt like the record was strong enough to be able to feel nostalgic but also feel like I have ownership over it. Like, it's in there and it's like, okay, this makes me feel that same thing one in a million makes made me feel, but... It's different. It's original. Did I you? felt like it was original original enough, so I didn't, like, really stress too much over 